Hello, welcome to Artsia Wireless News. I'm Roberta Prescott, and my topic today is sponsored data. And I interview Oren Pinsky, he's director of uh, business development at Qualcomm. Pinsky, uh, Qualcomm has been working in this uh, sponsored data or 1 800 data for a while now. What has happened during this couple of years? So, over the last uh, two years, this has moved from an idea from the concept, from uh, we started by, by idealizing what would be the 0-100 from voice into uh, the data world. And I think now, after two years, we have clients, we have uh, customers use, using it, we have uh, millions of people um, using it on a daily basis with, uh, with the sponsors who are using it, and we have the results. So now, after two years, we know uh, what was an hypothesis in the past, which was people uh, by having free data, people will use more data. Now is a reality and we can measure and it's a, it's a good uh, time to be and, and to see the realizations of this, pro of this project. The main idea of this sponsored data is to connect business or governments to uh, end users uh, who, who don't have as access to the data or cannot afford to have data, especially in emerging markets such as Brazil. What's Qualcomm role in this uh, project in Brazil? Yeah, so uh, as in many countries, uh, most of the people are on prepaid phones, like in Brazil. And on prepaid phones, it's really there's a lot of friction when you when you buy data. It's hard, and most of the time you have to do it on a daily basis, which makes uh, usage of data, of mobile data, on on prepaid really low. Uh, for Qualcomm. We want people to use data, to, to, to have the benefits of using data on their lives as often as, as, as they want. And we see uh, sponsored data or 1-800 data as, as a good means to enable this, this vision. You, you said about case studies already happening in Brazil. Uh, we have Brazil's Bradesco Bank, uh, which is using this. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more in, about this project? Yeah. So. Um, there is like many projects that uh, companies, big and small, have been using uh, sponsored data, 1-800 data, over the last year. And uh, we are very excited about the results. So uh, there has been a recent report on where Bradesco has uh, shared what, what was the impact of, of the uh, sponsored data on their business. And it was really good. So first of all, you have more people using mobile banking. Uh, so they have about uh, more than more than double the number of people who actually use mobile data, uh, mobile banking on their mo mobiles, which is amazing. But more than that, um, uh, the number of transactions per user actually doubled as well. Um, so you have more people, have two two times more people using mobile banking, and each of the person is using is making twice as many transactions. Uh, per day as, as they were in the past. Um, that translates into, uh, for Bradesco, as, as having a, a mobile as their second largest channel, right after in, uh, traditional internet, web, and with, with, the, with the expectation that mobile will become first over the next years as mobile continues to grow and surpasses web. Uh, more, more than that, from, from their cost perspective, this is amazing because every time a customer make a transaction on mobile, he, he, he is not making a transaction over the most expensive channels like going to the branch or using an ATM or calling a call center. So Bradesco is not only happy if by, the, by the people using their, uh, their uh, quicker and more efficient channel, but also they are reapping the benefits on their balance sheet as well. Yeah, it's cost-saving for that. But from carrier's perspective, uh, is it difficult to implement? Is it such as toll-free uh, used in voice or uh, SMS? Uh, what is the dif difficulty for carriers to implement or to sell this uh, wholesale data? Yeah, it's, it, they, they have to make changes on their, uh, on their network, on their core network, and they have to make changes on the, on the billing so that the billing goes to the right Persons. I think uh, one, of the, one of the difficulties in, in making this happen in, in Brazil, where you have four large uh, carriers, each of them more or less sharing the, the market, have an even market share, is to coordinate among themselves. 
So, for example, it's easy for one carrier to launch sponsored data, as, for example, AT&T have done in, in the States. It's harder to have the four carriers in, in Brazil to launch at the same time with a similar business model and, and making the, the network or their networks ready uh, for the clients, use, providing a similar user experience so that sponsors can then advertise the usage regardless of which uh, carrier you're using. So it takes some coordination, it takes some changes into their network, but I think Brazil it's a, it's a great case and hopefully other countries can look into what we have done here and expand uh, and launch similar activities in other places as well. You, you talk about network. Can it be such a problem uh, regarding net neutrality? Because net neutrality is a huge discussion uh, here in Brazil. Um, do you think in any how sponsored data go, uh, goes against net neutrality? No, I, I don't think so. And many people who have, uh, we have talked to and share the same opinion. Share the same opinion. What we have done through is to make sure that uh, when the carriers implement this uh, sponsored data in their networks, they follow the net, pr net uh, neutrality rules, meaning they don't prioritize sponsored data over non-sponsored data, so that they don't have any advantage and, and the, the rules of net neutrality are, are, are followed. Looking ahead over uh, 2016 and beyond, uh, what kind of expe expectations do you have in terms of adding more companies to this platform or including adi adding government uh, projects or perspectives on that? Yeah, so we, sp we expect more and more companies and governments to adopt. We know from press reports that governments, uh, government of Sao Paulo and others are, are seriously considering um, deploying M government services using sponsored data. Uh, in general, we see uh, sponsored data as a way to democratize access to data. So if you think back, uh, prepaid in Brazil and in many countries has allowed people, the general population, to have a, a, a cell phone and to communicate using cell phones. So, so a prepaid was the business model that enabled people to communicate, to talk. And we, we now see uh, sponsored data as the method, as the business model to democratize data access. So we expect uh, over, the, over the years that more business, more business join uh, this uh, business model, offer their services using uh, sponsored, uh, the business, sponsored business model. And then uh, in, in, in maybe a couple of years, uh, most of the data access in the country will be through uh, uh, sponsored data. Thank you a lot for this interview. Thank you. Follow all Latin American news at rcrwireless.com.